found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates & Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. You're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like we can't see them. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. Five. You must be able to move in and out, Thomas. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, señor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party. Yeah, keep it real. Evening, señor. Thank God it's finally in. Tamara Vidal. I'm here for the tour, it seems. Ah, yes. Miss Vidal. My apologies. I didn't recognize you. Let me sign you. Hello, sir. Have a lovely day.
Okay, understood. How you been? You asked me. The constant must have lost his mind. Burnwood was in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many? Enjoy the... Why does he want me to play tour guide to his socialite friends? It's our best day. He probably just wants to show off, Patron. I know I would. Hmm. Estás. Mr. Vargas. I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Bring him here. Now, let's see. I got my red for a lovely inky black color. Good stuff. Oi, this is my pie. Ten cuidado, huevón. Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. See, it's brown. Excellent. And finally, taste. Mm. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some coral nuts. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. Inform the workers, will you, Ramon? I, I have a third to contact. 
Will do. Honey, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I just... I don't know. I think I... I before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. No, I'm a bit of a jack of all trades. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. What's that? So, have any of you begun a vinga before? Scrap the answer, more, my thing. Uh-huh. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Now follow me, please. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes to its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol, in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Excellent. Let's continue to the barrel room. We'll follow me. So we arrive to our final stop, the barrel room. This is where we store the wine during the secondary stage of fermentation. The area behind the glass. Now the temperature and the temperature. The active floors which are made from a thick glass can only be unlocked if the room higher above our heads. Remarkable. Senor Yates, I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, you're in good shape. Word, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Herald get together up at the house. Just a this toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration is constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine herald once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin. Bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Wow. 
flowers. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. Hello, Trooper. Clearance flowers. Just fetch it already. What's the point? I could have sworn. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. You have to look it up. Shame on you. You don't drink the 1945 Grand Paladin any more than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Oh, men like Don Yates know the price of everything, but the value of nothing. I am sorry, Patron. Say, what if we exchanged the labels? Served him a different wine? Ah, you are devious, Santino. But... If Mr. Yates wishes to destroy something beautiful, I will not stand in his way. That is between him and his creator. How did he even get his hands on a bottle? I hear the last of the 45s were sold to Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali for $600,000. Most expensive bottle ever sold. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, a curious story. See, that bottle you refer to came from a case of 12 which were recovered from a sunken Carlisle shipping container that went down in the South China Sea during the final days of World War II. Well, of those 12, only five were raised intact. Al-Ghazali bought one under a great media coverage, while the others... What? Check that out, would you? Vale, pues. We're good to go. <laughs> Hey, Flowers! Over here, come on, while we're young. Sir, I present to you 
1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, flowers. Guests are waiting. Go on, get yourself patted down. We're still on alert from all those big shot CEOs getting offed. I'm gonna need to frisk you if you want to come through here. That's good. Keep those arms there. Don't move. If I find something, I'm gonna crucify you. Okay? You are good to go. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already, you being a scholar and all. Don't discuss, disclose, or hell, even contemplate what goes down. Just set your mind to wool-gathering mode. You think you can do that for me, Flowers? Worry not, Mr. Cortazar. I'm the very soul of discretion. Good man. They're already at it. Go on, place the wine on the table. I'll pour it. Decant. Pardon me, your majesty. I have always considered the heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. The nervous system, effectively. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flower. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Flowers, our resident sommelier. I believe he has brought us something quite. This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, yes, here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan, not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood, our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? He's got a oh, point. I agree. Perhaps Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead, Don. What? what did he say? You're what lying, of course, which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together, we can make it work. But you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. I agree. Yes. 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 Listen to yourselves. Don Yate is not even appointed constant yet. And already he conspires to betray his master. I don't pretend to understand Edward's every move, but I do know that this man is an opportunist and unworthy of office. Then you are a traitor to the Heralds. The room is against you, Tamara. Stand down now or share her fate. Edwards will hear about this. I think not. I am sorry, but you brought this on yourself. 
Mr. Cortazar. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died sir. today by the hand you of never saw rogue thing. agent for not the damn thing. Laura Vidal, who saw through the assassin's disguise, was, alas, still well. of a guard outfit. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. we discuss remote staged accident oh and corvo make it for two just improvise miss burnwood you rolled out the red carpet just for me don you shouldn't have so confident even in defeat i suppose you're not used to danger always safe behind your screens just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Oh, please. It will keep me awake at nights, and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. Oh, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. 
He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale, and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. <laughs> And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence brick by brick. Finish it. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Ether brand neurotoxin, transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. 
After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent.